uh, brief a video on uh, how I installed uh, the Spy 5000 two-way motorcycle alarm uh, on my Can-Am Spider. Everything's already done. I just finished, believe it or not. Of course, you had to take you had to take apart the two back pieces to include the bumper down below. Okay. Had to remove my seat. I did a couple other things too. Had to remove my seat, side panels. Once you get all that stuff off, uh, it's going to be required that uh, you install a few things. So, where I put it, where I set it, was right up underneath the passenger's high low heat. High low heat. Rest compartment, which comes off with one or two screws. Look at that, it's going off already. So, and of course, you have to disconnect this really quickly so that, uh, so, of course, it comes with the brain in which. I adhered with the two-sided tape after using alcohol. Comes with the siren. I adhered here with the with the two-sided tape and the alcohol. Okay. Uh, this bunch of wires right here didn't even use, but it was recommended that you that you take them off. You will have to use the two the two yellow wires that attach to your blinkers in the back that's why I put them in the back you're gonna have to use your red wire which I attached directly to the positive side of the battery the black wire the black wire okay I believe I stopped at uh, I said you're going to need the two yellow wires to hook up into your tail lights and on the left side of the bike on the left side of the bike you got to hook it you got to hook the yellow wire up into the gray got to hook it up into the gray wire. I also hooked up, I also attached my custom dynamic uh, saddlebag bright sides. Okay. Those two, those also hooked up into the tail light. You follow the instructions on there and it's uh, pretty, it's pretty simple. So the other yellow wire from the spy alarm hooks up into the right side of the spider hooks up into the right side and that yellow wire hooks into the brown and yellow wire on the right side as you're looking from the rear of the vehicle okay as you can see I also put I got my mud flap light that's attached here those have been hooked up also and the custom dynamic uh, bright sides so to reiterate the on the brain that's been adhered to the left side of the bike up underneath the high and low heat panel the siren that's been adhered right up underneath the panel up underneath the seat with the two-sided tape and uh, I did not use 
the blue wire, the pink wire, or the gray wire. I did not use the blue, the pink, the gray, and the brown from the Spy 5000 alarm because I don't want it to. I don't want to start the engine. Don't want the kill switch. I don't want any of that, and I will remove that. But I just try to neatly tuck it up underneath here. Um, then your your microwave sensor. For me, I'm putting it right inside my glove compartment, and I just laced it through, and I'm putting it inside my glove compartment. It seemed to work fine okay uh, that Y is kind of crimped there but for right now that's where it's gonna go then the indicator light the LED indicator light I'm gonna install I'm gonna install that right here or I might relocate it to one of my speakers. I haven't decided that yet. But, okay, indicator light right up underneath the center console. I mean, between my switches here, microwave sensor in the glove compartment. I've got it turned off for right now. And you can do that with your key fob that comes with the uh, with the system okay and I just ran the wire from the microwave sensor out of my glove box down along the side ran it along the side and it connects only connects to one thing that attached to the brain unit same thing with the indicator the LED light ran it down behind there and it only connects to one thing on the brain that I have here and it's and it's operational so this is what it looks like when it's working Okay, and when you cut it on, when you arm it, after putting your battery in, and you arm it, so when you arm it, When your battery's in and everything's hooked up correctly, you press the lock, you press the lock button, and it arms it. Now, if you press the lock button twice, you hit chirp, you press it a second time, that turns the alarm off so that it won't wake up your neighbors in the event if it's uh, bumped, but it will. Uh, send a signal to your key fob okay disarm it it flashes the light and does that so I'll explain a little bit more later so when you arm it When your battery's in and everything's hooked up correctly, you press the lock, you press the lock button, and it arms it. Now, if you press the lock button twice, you hit chirp, you press it a second time, that turns the alarm off so that it won't wake up your neighbors in the event if it's uh, bumped, but it will 
uh, send a signal to your key fob. Okay, disarm it. It flashes the lights and does that. So, I'll explain a little bit more later.